Hi, welcome to Nursing Mandra English Question Practice. We will see the question from integumentary system regarding wound evisceration. An obese client with diabetes who had a bowel resection five days ago says, I felt like I split open when I was coughing. Upon assessment, the nurse notes that the incision edges are separated and a loop of bowel is protruding through the wound. Which nursing action would be appropriate? Select all that apply. So, the, here the question is Sata model questions. Select all that apply questions. The options given here Option A Administer one oral tablet of oxycodone prescribed PRN for pain. Option B Assess a full set of vital signs. Option 3 Cover the viscera with sterile dressing saturated in normal saline solution. Option D. Notify the healthcare provider immediately. Option E. Place the client in low powerless position with knees slightly flexed. These are the options given for select all that apply question. This question is related to wound evisceration nursing action. What we have to do? Do you have any guess which all options we can select from this? The answer is option B, C, D, E. That means option B, assess a full set of vital signs. Option C, cover the viscera with a sterile dressing saturated in normal saline solution. Option D, notify the healthcare provider immediately. Option E, place the client in low powerless position with knees slightly flexed. Now we can see how the options we have selected for this question. So here mainly they are saying regarding wound evisceration. What is wound evisceration? That is total separation of wound layers with protrusion of internal viscera uh, through the incision is known as evisceration. Internal viscera in the sense a part of a bowel, a bowel loop and all it is um, coming outside after an abdominal surgery that is known as evisceration you can see in, in this picture the evisceration okay part of uh, bubble loop is outside protruding outside through the incisional wall so you can see that evisceration that is a medical emergency that can lead to localized ischemia peritonitis you know that uh, peritonitis means uh, abdominal infection um, of the cavity, abdominal cavity and shock also. Emergency surgical repair is necessary. Clients are at uh, risk for poor wound healing like uh, the obese clients, diabetes mellitus clients are at increased risk for evisceration. When an abdominal wound evisceration occurs, the nurse should take following actions. So now we can see which all are the actions has to be taken by the nurses. Nurse has to remain calm and stay with the client. Don't get panic. So, have someone notify the healthcare practitioner immediately and bring sterile supplies. Instruct the client not to cough or strain because coughing and uh, straining it will cause again protrusion of the bubble loop. Place the client in low foulest position. That means not more than 20 degree uh, elevation. Okay, So that is low foulest position. How to keep the client with the knees slightly flexed. This position, it will help to relieve the pressure on the abdominal incision. And how the client maintain absolute bed rest to prevent the further tissue injury. Next to nursing uh, management is assess vital signs. So that is very important. We have to repeat every 15 minutes. We have to check the vital signs to detect possible signs and symptoms of shock. That means the hypotension, tachycardia, tachypnea to check the symptoms of shock. 
uh, we have to monitor the vital signs very important thing then we have to cover the viscera with the sterile dressing that is saturated in the normal uh, saline solution to prevent the bacterial invasion and keep exposed viscera from drying out we have to cover the viscera we have to document all these interventions taken and the appearance of the wound how the wound is uh, like how the eviscerated organ what is the color of the organ what is the color of the wound any drainage is there everything we have to document if the blood supply is interrupted or uh, uh, protruding organ can become ischemic that means the dusky color will be there for that bubble loop or any organ protruded organ and a necro necrosis is there or not they're like a black colorish uh, organ will be there these all interventions we have to document in the record so why we didn't select the option a means this client we have to shoot him like we already told the emergency surgery has to do so we have to keep the client on npo so this client should immediately be uh, made nothing per oral in preparation for possible emergency surgery so only if the patient is in pain we can provide iv analgesics should be administered if the client is in pain not oral analgesics okay that's why we didn't select the option uh, a I hope you understood regarding these questions and these options, how the answer we have selected. Introducing the all new Nursing Mandra Englux series, which contains question bank, which is including the new generation Englux question. Rational followed by each question helps you to understand the question. The explanatory video collections with the help of illustrations and animation, exam handbook, mock test and cheat sheets. Select your package now and get started. For more information about the subscription plans, you can contact Nursing Mandra WhatsApp.